No fewer than 70 registered hotels in Adamawa State risk fizzling out of businesses if they fail to install CCTV cameras. The CCTV, the state deputy governor, Carla Tapwa, George Farota, gave this indication at an emergency meeting with the hospitality business owners at Government House, Yola. The directive came following the recent killing of a lady in Happy Day Hotel, Target Junction, Jimeta, Yola. And we will not sit as a government and watch citizens, you know, being decimated and killed one by one. And in our hotels where we think once, we all do have guests, and we take our guests to your places. Most of you are our customers. Once our guests arrive, we take them to your hotels. We should take our guests to your hotels and come back home and be comfortable to close our eyes and sleep, knowing that our guests are safe with you. But if this is what is happening, even us, we are not safe. Not just to talk about governance, but also for our guests and relations who come around and we cannot accommodate them, then we need to go to your places to accommodate them. We will not be safe ourselves. Therefore, after going back and forth, government has agreed for six weeks. Six weeks midweek. And that means six weeks. And I assure you, it is six weeks. So after six weeks, if you don't have the CCTV in your hotel, motel, lodge, whatever name it is, the government will have the right to take its decision because the services you are rendering, you are doing them on behalf of this government and its citizens. And we would ensure that the right thing is... The Deputy Governor stressed that protection of life and property of the citizens is the fresh air government's top priority. A lot of our hotels and hotels that are in small, small areas, we are into short service. And I'm sure we are all adults will understand what I mean by short service. A man bringing in a woman and they sleep there after two hours. He pays maybe half the sal half the the rates or half the whatever and he walks away. That can be your daughter, it can also be my daughter. I think our hotel should be rid of such activities because that young lady will be the mother of the next president of Nigeria. Why would you allow her to be wasted in your own hotel because you're looking for money? And the drugs they push through your places, those drugs can reach the hands of your own son and my own son. So why would you allow your hotel to be the place where those drugs are pushed through? If you put yourself as a parent, as a hotel owner, you have your children, you want to send them to the best school, you want them to be the best behaved. So why do you allow your hotel to be the place where other people's children, especially their lives will be wasted because you're looking for money? I'm sure that can be called blood money. And that is not fair and that is not acceptable to us as the government. In his own remark, the State Police Public Relations Officer, SP Suleiman Guroje, at the public to give timely information to the police to enable them to take action immediately after an incident as the police is committed to ensuring peace and stability in the state. We really appreciate the intervention of the government. Her Excellency, on behalf of the hotel in the state, all your contributions, your observations are noted. Assuring you we will put it together to see a way forward and to protect this ugly situation. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.